what it is, y'all. It's your old boy, Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Daimachi. Now, today we are going to be talking about the collab rerun. Uh, we thought we were going to get some information on the actual new collab coming, but apparently we didn't. All we got was the rerun, but that's okay, because the rerun is going to be hype. Can you guess what it is? You've probably already seen on Twitter. Data Live. Now, I had my money on Attack on Titan. I really thought that was going to be the rerun, but Data Live is a rerun, and it kind of makes sense because that's, like, the newest, hottest thing we've got. What's really awesome about this, though, is that we're getting two new units along with this. Okay? Now, the rerun is going to be... It's going to have a full re uh, reset. You can farm all your Iris up again. You can farm that unit up again, and I'll show you in the video later on today that was actually supposed to be out tomorrow or yesterday. Apologies that didn't happen. If you saw on Twitter, I had some stuff come up in my personal life. But you can farm them up again and use them as a decent uh, Serio Sync. So that's good news. Now, the new units. We are getting a new Shido. Okay? Uh, this unit, uh, he looks pretty decent. Two double S stats. Uh, not half bad. Uh, magic could be a bit better. But skill one. Fast mid light with ultra uncounter rate. Physical resistance, magic resistance, minus 25% for four turns. Skill two, foes. Fo I'm sorry, foes singular. Super light with temporary strength boost and seal. Rare that we see a seal or a seal. Rare that we see a single target in the middle, but it is what it is. And that seal is not a bad thing. S three. Skill three. Foes, plural. Fast mid light with... Strength, Agility, and Light Damage Boost, 25% for 3 turns. So, I guess you can call him a balanced type. You got He's got a big buff, he's got a big debuff, and he's got the seal in the middle. Um, and his essay actually is uh, foes, plural, Ultra Light on Guard Rate with Temporary Strength Boost and 40% Seal Chance. So basically, everybody pretty much rolls like a D10, and if it's 4 or below, you're sealed. Pretty much is how that more or less works. Interesting note, his passive is Beast Killer, and we'll come into why that's interesting here in just a few moments. But let's move over to the new Katori, okay? Gerby looking hot. But him tiss. All right? So, and we'll get into more fire-related puns here in a moment, but buckle up, because I got news for you right now. Old Girl is so far beyond busted, it's crazy. Uh, I will be acquiring her. I will be buying her first unit and then just like, doubling down on the banner so that I can get more of her. Uh, she is absolutely 100% the unit I'm going to be after on these banners. And I say that as someone who is like, save, 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 save. If you've got a fire team, i.e. if you have Argonaut and Krazo, go ham. Okay. Now I'm going to start with skill three. I'll start with skill one. Skill one's a weird one, okay? The notes that I have say 30% heal and allies, plural, strength, heal, and fire damage by, just, just click, click, whatever you gotta do, allies, strength, heal, and fire damage by 60% for four turns. I am going to go out on a limb and say most likely this information is probably not correctly translated. I think the allies is going to be 30% heal and the strength heal and fire damage for 60% 60 for 4 turns is going to be uh, just herself. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, old girl is so far beyond busted, there's no excuse. Because, remember, the current meta that we've been seeing is like 80% for five turns or four turns or whatever, right? Um, or, and that's for like either strength or whatever the skill damage is. If it's double, if it's double down, it's usually 40 to 50% for four, for four turns. Having both strength and, and strength and fire damage 60% for four turns is bad enough when it's on one person. If that is across the board for the whole team, that is so, so, so far beyond busted. The fire team is just not going to be touchable for the next six months, at least until the anniversary. And then they're going to have to do something really crazy. Like, you know, I don't know. But 
yeah, I'm gonna go out and limit. I'm gonna say the thirty percent heals probably for the allies, and then the sixty percent is for herself. Because the, the another sixty, it's like if she heals herself thirty percent and then heals everyone sixty percent, which she's gonna get another sixty. Basically, heals herself ninety percent. Either way, she heals herself ninety percent. But if she's healing herself thirty percent and then everyone sixty percent, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, now, does it? But my notes do say the other way around, so we'll see what happens when she drops tomorrow. That is a discussion in and of itself. But either way, either way, you you toss it. Strength heal and fire damage sixty percent for four turns is a bat. It is a bat shit stat. We've not seen double like fire and strength. 60%, at least not for four turns. Now, and she doesn't need it for four turns, because you're going to put her on a team with Argonaut and Krasso, or at least the OG Harahime. Yeah, she's just broken for the sake of being broken, if I'm honest. Now, the heal stat on top of that is just ridiculous. I don't know. Your team's never going to die. Your fire team's going to stay alive no matter what happens. Like, they're going to have to find a way to one-shot you to kill this team, okay? Because, skill two... When HP is 10% or more of max, survive KO effect given to all allies. Disappear that you cannot use that skill when uh, HP is less than 10%. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that she can't do it when her when her HP is less than 10%. And once again, she recovers 30% of MP. Hear me out, guys. That skill recovers 30% of MP. I don't know what the cost of that is going to be, but I'm going to guess it's going to be like 140 or something MP. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. All kinds of busted. Um, that's going to be broken on War Games. I cannot wait to see what that's going to do to War Games. It's going to be ridiculous. If you don't want this unit yet, I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, skill 3, Foe Singular, Super Fire Physical Attack with Skill Damage increased by 50% per Strength Boost and increased Strength Damage by 20%. Okay? So she gives herself Strength, uh, she gives herself Strength 60%. You could put, uh, a friend on her, but basically if you have the Artemis friend, she gets another 20% on top of that. So... She gets two. She's gonna basically get skill damage. I don't know if that includes assist skills, but even either way, that fifty percent is gonna be busted. She gets another fifty percent. It's gonna be ridiculous. Remember though, you can only increase strength once. Then you have to basically increase it with a with an assist. It doesn't say it doesn't include assist skills, but I don't know. We'll see how it works. We'll have to play with it. We'll actually have to try her out when she drops and see how she does. Okay. Increase strength damage by twenty percent. Okay. Now passive she uh. Her super attack is a beast killer. Her regular attack is not, but her super attack is a beast killer. Her special slash super attack is a single attack. Foe singular. You don't see that very often. That's the one thing that kind of begins to slow her down a little bit, but she still is just ridiculous. Single. Foe singular. Ultra fire physical attack with temporary MP restoration by 20%. I, don't know. I said temporary. With, not temporary, I'm sorry. Let me start again. Ultra Fire Physical Attack with MP Restoration by 20% and Skill Damage by 80% Increase per Strength Boost. So basically, she's going to one-shot somebody. She's going to just walk up on somebody and be like, You dead, son. What you going to do about it? That's kind of the way old girl's going to work. Um, yeah, she's all kinds of busted. She's all kinds of busted, so... Uh, expect to see a lot of her MLB running around. Also remember, you want to save some Iris for the coming collab. Because we're getting another collab after this. So for me and my money, I, I'm probably just going to wail for her and then save for the collab. I don't know. I got to figure out how I'm going to do it. It's going to be ridiculous. She's going to be every kind of busted that exists. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to basically refresh everything. Um, old girl is going to be available because at the end of all of it, you're going to have a 11 draw four star ticket. So in other words, there's a guaranteed four star at the end of that ticket and it draws 11 units and you're going to be able to get all your iris from it and all the normal rewards. So that is a good thing. Um, 
and we're getting a Familia Rush. Remember I said Beast Killer is going to be really important. So that is the collab. That's the information on the collab rerun. We don't know what the actual collab is going to be, but once again, as bad Guano as Old Girl is, I think, I think she is probably, if you want my opinion, I think she is kind of maybe a uh, kind of an example of what kind of insanity we'll see when the collab drops. I'm just going to go out and limb and say that now. Don't know if that's true or not, but that is going to that is my speculation. We're getting another uh, Family Rush, guys. Another Family Rush. Okay. Now, I don't have the information on the first. Well, I don't have the picture of the first unit, but the first units on the the uh, the Family Rush are going to be their skills: Earth, Water, and Lightning, and Dark, and be zero. Wind and Light will be down thirty percent. Fire will be up fifty percent. Okay. Uh, physical will be down twenty percent. Magic will be up thirty percent. Okay. Um, now when they say down, that means that you can use your physical units on it. Fire being 50% means that, you know, our usual teams of Argonaut and Cross and all those guys are going to have a hard time with that. Uh, wind and light. So you're looking at a physical wind and light team to take down the first units on this, this collab. Then we get the Barts. Fire, earth, water, lightning, and dark minus 10%. Wind down 20%. Light down 40%. Physical up 50% and magic down 60%. So basically a wind or light magic team to take down to Barts. Um, and because all these units are considered beasts, any unit with that beast killer skill, they're going to be super effective. Super effective. Okay. Final units that lizard that was in the, uh, the image there. Lizard, wind, water, lightning, and dark are 0%. Fire is down 20%. Light is down 30%. And earth is up 40%. Okay? Physical and magic are both 0. Interesting. So basically, it's going to be basically be a building for the first time ever. Like three completely separate teams for this. Uh, we'll cover all this in a great detail uh, tomorrow before it drops. But yeah, be aware of all that. Be aware of all that. Um... Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the uh that's the family rush. Well, like I said, we'll we'll talk about it in its own video uh and clear up some of the confusion on that. Now, big update coming in tomorrow's update, and I think this is one of the greatest things they have done as far as I guess uh quality of life since they added the sell multiple button up there. Now, when you're actually in your bonds, you know, when we do our monthly bond sale, when you're in there, you can actually go in and you can check your status board by pressing and holding on the uh, on the bond itself. That is super overdue and it's going to save a lot of confusion on that screen. So that's super duper duper handy. OK. And as you probably could have expected, Record Buster's back tomorrow. We've got Revis is back. Uh, looks like she's going to be... Doesn't say specifically, but I'm going to say that. That looks like what? Is that an Earth type or a Wind type? It says probably it's green, so I'm thinking it's Wind. Hard to call, but just know she's back. You know, usually physical type units work on her and blah, 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 blah. So we'll talk about her in her own video as well. So that is everything coming this week. Now, we don't have a lot of information what's coming next week, so that's interesting. Interesting. But, tomorrow, we're getting the Data Live rerun. We're getting the new Familia Rush. We're getting uh, Record Buster. There's a new login bonus. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The new login bonus starts on Thursday, the 16th. And then on the 21st, we're getting... Uh, the uh, says L and Y login bonus. I'm not sure what L and Y login bonus is, but yes, uh, we're getting oh Lunar New Year, Lunar New Year login bonus. That's what it is. So we're getting that login bonus here on the 21st. So that's what's coming for the time being. We will talk more next week. I suspect they'll start dropping more stuff on us with the collab shortly because they kind of really have no choice. We're coming close to it. So. 
Let me know if you guys are hyped for this. Uh, hit a little thumbs up if you are, because damn, I know I uh, Katori is. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm just gonna go ham on her. That's it. That's the video, guys. See y'all tomorrow for the uh, for the stream. I'll be back to talk about Familia Rush tomorrow, and later tonight I'll bring out that video that I was gonna bring out tomorrow regarding the free-to-play units because I owe that to you guys. So we're just gonna double down, double down on Damachi today. See y'all then.